two matches of the match to everybody. You know, everybody's super relieved with the two matches, right? Two six five matches, right? Or they're close, yes. Very close matches, though, right? Yes. Winning two close matches. Obviously, getting out of their big environment, big crowd. Did you beat out off the environment at all and getting out of there and, and sweeping? You know, I try to keep my cool, stay calm, and collected. So that doesn't really get played too much into my wrestling, but it's very cool when you're done competing and you got that crowd cheering for you. It's awesome. You've had a lot of big moments in your career, but, but given what you've been through injury-wise, how gratifying is this? This means a lot to me. You know, it doesn't mean anything in the grand scheme of things, but man, I've been battling injuries for two years now. I was on, I was so close to making my Olympic team in 2021. Came up short with my shoulder, and then again, last year was in the finals once again, and my shoulder. So, this is just something I can build off, and it's a great foundation to start this upcoming season with. Hey, so it's is it tough to be reminded of what happened in 21 the trials? Is it working with memory, or what you went through? I learned so much through all this in the past two years. As much as it sucked, I wouldn't trade it for anything. I learned so much, different perspective. Learned a new love for the sport, for my training. I wouldn't change a thing, but that what happened in the last couple two years is in the back of my mind every single day. So. What's your preparation like coming into a match where you're very familiar with it? You know, me and Mal battle it out at these training camps all the time. We train a lot. She's a great friend of mine off the mat. So I knew this was going to be a dog fight. You know, so it's so awesome to be able to wrestle people like this domestically before we go and wrestle internationally it's almost it almost takes a weight off your shoulders i mean i think of mal as one of my top contenders internationally so to go against her before i start this international circuit this summer is something special to have uh, not really i mean this is what i do right now i am very passionate about what i do so day in and day out i'm training like I'm on that team already so nothing really changes like I think you asked nothing changes I train with the best at the Olympic Training Center we'll probably have over half the team from there I get to battle with them every single day I think that's my toughest challenge to be honest with you I get to go in train with those girls Sarah Hildebrand, Jakar Winchester, Adeline Gray, Emma Bruntel like the list goes on I mean it's a great place to train and it's a great place to really get battle tested <laughs> It means a lot, you know. When I started this, I was training with guys. I grew up training with guys. My coach Dennis Hall, Greco guy, learned to just grind out things. So um, I think it's going to be huge these next couple of years, especially having some of these really high-level athletes being able to go into coaching position. Like we need that, you know. These guys are doing a great job with it right now, but I think. Having someone to look up to that's done it and like a woman would be very different in a game changer. Congratulations. Thank you.